Welcome to our channel. As always, the most up-to-date news is ahead. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your opinions in the comments, we would appreciate it. So let's begin. British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss believes that the 1997 NATO-Russia Founding Act is already dead. The minister's statement to this effect was disseminated by the PA News Agency on Wednesday. It is noted that Truss will express this opinion during the working dinner at the meeting of the foreign ministers of the NATO member states in Brussels in the evening of April 6. The era of engagement with Russia is over. We need a new approach to security in Europe based on sustainability, defense and deterrence. There is no time for false consolations, the agency quotes excerpts from the British minister's speech. It is stressed the Truss is also going to call on NATO countries to strengthen sanctions against Russia and continue supplying arms to Ukraine. In addition, she believes that the alliance should provide more assistance to such states as Georgia, Moldova, Finland and Sweden. The NATO-Russia Founding Act, signed in 1997, states, among other things, that Russia and NATO cease to regard each other as adversaries and refuse to station substantial military forces near each other's borders. Russia in December 2021 sent proposals to the US and NATO on security guarantees, which included demands to legally enshrine the alliance's refusal to expand further eastward and to return its military infrastructure to the 1997 borders. At the end of January Washington and Brussels handed Moscow their written responses, from which it follows that the West did not make any concessions of principle for Russia.